Good day and greetings from the Great White North. My name is Prickly Pooh and welcome to day 218 of A Year of Change and the beginning of week 32. Um, we're starting up a new week. Um, I was going to sort of originally dive right in um, to the carbs and protein and fiber and all the other good stuff. But where we've had um, you know, 12 weeks of just nonstop, okay, we're tracking this every single day and doing what we can, then tracking this, then adding that in and tracking everything else, that I figure we deserve a bit of a break. Not a break from our calories or from actually tracking food or exercise or anything like that, just more of a mental thing than anything else. So there are no changes for this week. I don't know what to do. I really don't. Um, I've been trying to figure out what should I do. Should I, you know, talk about uh, do a, like a Monday subject? Should I do this? Should I do that? And I don't really know. I don't know what to do with this. So I've sort of. This is why this is well. When you're wherever you're watching this, this is going up fairly late <laughs> because I'm just sort of at a loss because I figure that we do need a little bit of a break sometimes, just like our regular cheat days that you know inevitably come up on us. I was going to say that we have. It's like we really shouldn't, but we do. So anyway. Um, we do need a bit of a mental break. So I figure that for the next couple of weeks, um, we should really sort of hone in and focus on what we've learned in the past 12. So keep an eye on our sodium, our sugar levels, the fat the content that we're doing, but where we aren't sort of... Caught, like When we first started, we did the sodium, and then we were watching that. That was going fairly well. Then we added in the fat, which wasn't too hard to do because we're essentially just replacing it. And a lot of the foods that we've been eating in the past few weeks have sort of gravitated towards those anyway. So we're watching that, but trying to keep it in that 30% range. And then we add the sugar on top of it, and then that sort of adds in new stuff. And every time that we add something, I feel like we've sort of lost something. Um, like When we added the fat, we lost a little bit in sodium. Then we added sugar, and then we sort of lost a bit of the sodium and the fat again. So we were focusing on that. So trying to keep all three together um it's been fairly difficult and obviously i didn't do it by the way did my way in it's right to figure out we should do that do your way in today obviously um not so obvious apparently because i didn't remember and uh, weigh yourself three times take the highest number as always i did remember to do mine just didn't remember to tell you i did mine it was not good so this is part of the reason why I sort of want to do this is because um where we're sort of focusing on one thing we tend to lose well, I do anyway, lose focus on what was really important, which is keeping the calories down, keeping the exercise going, which I did, I was able to do, but really watching everything that we're eating and not just focusing on it saying, well, this has low sugar, so I'm okay, and then not really paying attention to the rest of the stuff. So, which is why, I, um, I mean, hot dogs aren't terrible, but I wasn't paying attention to the sodium as much as I should have, which of course, put my sodium way, way up. Um, so I think for the next couple of weeks, to give ourselves a bit of a break from adding in all these new things that we're going to be doing, and when we start doing carbs and fiber and protein and everything else, that's going to be a bit different, because we aren't actually going to be tracking it the same way. Um, you're not going to be looking through it and going, oh, I need to have 12 more grams of protein today, or I need to have 8 more grams of carbohydrates. Um, that numbering convention that people have said to me, like, it's 12 carbs. Like, that, that's not a measurement. That's, that's, you need a quantity. It needs to be something that you can measure. We'll get to that eventually once we start reviewing that stuff. But for the next couple of weeks, I think it's a good time to sort of sit back, take a look at everything that we've done, and really start paying close attention to all three and tweaking our numbers that way. I know that was sort of the intent um, on, you know, as we were adding them in there as well. But I, for one, have not been doing it the way that I should have been. And tracking the sodium, um, that's something that, um, you know, when you're doing everything else on top of it, you're looking at it going, okay, well, sugar or sodium, you sort of gravitate towards the sugar. Same thing with sugar and fat. You gravitate towards the sugar if you're trying to cut something out um, and really focusing in on that. Where we've had four weeks of each one, we have a better idea as to what we should be eating and how we should be eating and what's good, what's bad, and, uh, you know, a much better idea overall as to how it affects us. So I think over the next couple of weeks, we won't actually do any changes. What I'd like to do is to take this time and really narrow down our focus so that we have our the number of calories, we have those down pat. We've been doing that for months, so we know when we're over, we're over, and when we're under, we're under. Um, so we need to stay under those, 
keep tracking our water as well, which I keep forgetting to do. I've been forgetting to do that for seven months. I don't know if I'm going to start now. But, I mean, it's pretty much all that I drink is water and then coffee. Um, and then pop if I'm mixing it with something. But really focus in on our calories and part of that, taking a look at it and saying, okay, I need to maintain as close to 2,300 um, milligrams of sodium per day as I can. So if you find that you're creeping up during the day, sort of cut back on that way. And I know that we have gone sort of week by week, um, which is why you're going to go over some days, you're going to be well under some days. So just as long as we're keeping track of that throughout the week. The same thing with fat. Um, if we're eating something that has a lot of fat in it, then the next meal have something with a little less in it. Or get your fat from, you know, fruits and vegetables and stuff like that. Because, and again, it's it's difficult to track a lot of stuff because my fitness pal is just, whenever they track fat, it's almost always saturated fat. It doesn't really track any of the other good fats. But where we know what our sources are for the time, bring, 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 ah. Let's try that one more time, shall we? For the time being, we can use that and just say good enough. It's overall fat. And as long as you're getting it from beneficial sources, try to keep that, you know, reasonably narrow, down, close. What word am I looking for? Uh, try to think of some way of saying it. Try to keep it around 30% of what we're eating. As far as sugar goes, we've cut back a lot of the junk food that we have been eating, um, a lot of the processed food. I'm not too, too worried about that. But again, um, when you get when, like, when you're looking at it, like last week, I had a lot of sugar. I went well over what I should have done, but it was every last scrap of it was from fruit. So as long as you're doing that, that's okay. But if you can sort of, I don't know, I I, I don't want to say sort of cut back on that because if you can eat you know ten apples in a day, and you're going to get a ton of sugar with it which is not great, but you're also getting 10 apples a day, which means that you're not eating that same equivalent in Twinkies and cakes and cookies and chips and cheesies. I was going to say Cheetos, but I didn't know if it was a brand thing. And then with Cheetweezies, Cheetweezies. When you have Cheetweezies, which are those little things that you pluck cheese hairs out of, that's those are called Cheetweezers. Anyway, <laughs> where we've sort of looked at, like, it's... It's been tough trying to balance everything, and especially where we're adding in a whole bunch of new information. Sometimes you do need to just sort of sit back, take everything, and go, okay, here's what I've learned. Organize everything out, lay it out in front of you, and then say, here's what I need to pay attention to. I haven't been doing it as well as I should have. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping I'm not the only one. So my hope is that over the next couple of weeks, that we'll be able to sort of narrow that down a bit more track everything the way that we should be tracking so that we can recognize what foods we're eating that are high in sugar and fat and, so and sodium or yeah that's right i was going to say sugar and sugar sugar fat and sodium and sort of again not to cut anything out i don't want to get to a point where you're saying well i can't eat anything now for the rest of the day because my sodium is too high and my sugar is too high and this is too high we've always tried to maintain that there's some practicality to this program. And part of that is being that there, you're going to have days when you know, you've know you had your limit of sodium for the day, your limit of sugar for the day, and you're at 38% or 40% of your calories are from fat and you still have 500 calories left for the day and it's six o'clock at night and you know you're gonna be up until midnight. In a situation like that, don't just say, well, I'm not just not gonna eat anything and then wait until midnight because that puts us sort of back into those bad eating habits where we aren't eating regularly, we aren't eating a balanced meal, we aren't eating you know, the way that we should be, you're going to save it until midnight and then by then you're going to be ravenous and then you're just going to want something quick, which in general is going to be junk food. So that could be something that we could look at too, sort of the root cause of our, not necessarily the root cause because it's going to be emotional for a lot of us, but the root of our eating habits, um, the good and the bad. Um, I mean, we have improved a great deal, but those things that sort of trigger, you know, what brings those on and you know how we can sort of curb those and try not to go too far the other way i mean that's something that i definitely want to look into anyway but um might do that after everything because we still have we have 20 weeks starting today that's quite that's that's yeah okay i was gonna say that's not a lot of time and i think well a year is 52 so still over a third of a year we're fine we have four or five months we still have time to go through all this stuff anyway um that's mainly what i wanted to talk about i guess i didn't think i had anything but look at that i wasted uh, oh not too long i'm gonna keep this one short then it's gonna be a very short video <laughs> so for the next couple of weeks 
just take what you've learned over the past 12 and really start to get into that pattern the same way that we did when we were tracking just started tracking calories and then we just started doing a little bit of exercise a little bit tiny bit each day um, just to get into that pattern so that you can see what foods are going to be high in salt and which ones are going to be high in sugar and just sort of keep that balance going because it is a little difficult to do when you're doing everything that your regular daily life comes in and then you're learning new information on top of it and you're trying to then you're tracking that and everything's sort of brand new it takes us time to get into a groove and um, I think we're at a good stage now that we can sort of take a breath and look back and go good enough I know what I need to do how can I do it not sort of to reset but just where we have all this new information now to put us in a better place so that we can continue on with what we're doing and keep our progress going more than anything else. So, um, yeah, I think that's it. I can't think of anything else. Otherwise, I'm just going to repeat myself. So I'm going to leave this video here nice and short. I'm going to try to keep it short. We had quite a few long ones last week, so I'm going to try to narrow them down a little bit and be a little more succinct. I, <laughs> this is something I've said since, what, day 12, and I don't think we're ever going to do that with the sound of the Anyway, for now, I'm going to leave this video here. So thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, please poke the like button for me. And in the meantime, keep yourself warm and fuzzy, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.